and the music here is very relaxing, I must say. But hello everyone, Lon here, back with some more Legend of the Oregano. We're gonna keep up uh, doing, well, I don't know, vac something in this vacation place. Uh, the princess was angry, and I assume the princess is possessed by a demon, saying very mean things. Which was very funny, because she just literally came down, very mean to a pregnant woman, and then walked away, like... Cool. That's... Cool. <laughs> I mean, mean of course, but kind of funny, like... Oh yeah, I'm just going down there to say shit to you, like... Wow. Cool. <laughs> what an asshole. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, that was that room. The telescope thing? Look like a huge funnel. Funnel? 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 Oh yeah, that didn't do anything. And I... Can I go up there? Is he suffering from bad illness? Okay, but where do I get the permission? A permission? I need a permission. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna talk around with people here. And hopefully I find someone that has... Parmesan. Wow, this is a little... Oh my god, this moment. I was tricked. It was all a trick. Can I talk with you? No, yeah, I didn't need... Oh, well, whatever. A little bit of health, extra health care up my butt might help, maybe? Oh wait, you're the I just wanted to give my people names and my people would be happy, but Prince Amelia was. Oh, well, uh, I can name the baby. How about... Gurka? Yeah, that's, that's a perfect name for a child to be bullied. <laughs> Though I wonder, Gurka is Swedish for cucumber. <laughs> my, my god, what is this? It's a well-made skeleton. That is something that is interesting, because, you know, like, ah, oh, they have a skeleton in the wardrobe. And uh, that saying come from, like, old, uh, in, in, in from England, I think it was. Because back then, doctors were allowed to do, like, studies and research skeletons of like convicts and stuff like that that have been executed but they we're not allowed to show them to people so they will put these skeletons in their literally wardrobes and stuff like that I think that's just very fascinating to be honest because many things do have like surprising meaning oh I haven't been here welcome come in all the way to the back <laughs> Oh, such a slow folks. Hmm, yes. Uh, this is... Am I, am I about to be attacked? You guys are from out of town, aren't you? Yes. Yes, we are. I knew I could meet you the day you are not from here. Hmm, yeah. You guys mm -mm, smell like exotic foreign. Ah, oh, let me give you a quick introduction to this town. Mm, yes, you saw lots of star shapes in this town, didn't you? There were decoration on top of roofs and mosques in the street, right? It's because the Boreans... Naturally, we have an advanced astronomy! Yes, we are literally the horoscope people. <laughs> nah! On Thor, I can't date you because I'm a Scorpio and you are a Aquarius. Thor, it doesn't work. What? Dump me for that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, astronomy and stuff like that can be interesting, you know, like... It is fascinating, in many ways. Especially, like, the concept of stars and how they meant through history and stuff like that. But people that take it, like, literal guidelines on how to do and how to act... It is kind of... I would say it's kind of whack. Yeah, I should probably... No, uh, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> uh, no. It's study of stars, isn't it? Sounds wonderful. Right? We are here to pursue Lloyd. Not talk about stars. 
what, what, what did it say? What are you guys whispering about? Mm -hmm. Are you becoming more interested in stars? Uh, I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry, but we're actually looking for a man named Lloyd. A man? Oh, are you more interested in a man than stars? Just kidding. <laughs> I like coffee. Just kidding. <laughs> Lloyd. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I miss. If Miss Cafe is the hipster, doesn't know it means he probably isn't in this town. Man, it's cool giving yourself the hipster name. Are you still interested in hearing about stars? Sure, why not? Uh huh. Sorry, I only know things about el everybody else knows. You know what? I'll introduce you to a person you would like. He's an astronomer named Festa. He's crazy about the moon that never sets. Uncle Fasta! I think he can tell you lots of interesting things. If you sniff him correctly. The moon that never sets. You know the one over there, the strange star in the sky that... The sky... That is a... That's... That's weird. Zoom research about relationship between a monster called the Black Whatchamacallit. Uh, whatchamacallit? That sounds like legit like a monster. Whatchamacallit? Uh, is it like Chupacabra? <laughs> and the moon that never sets. Why don't you drop by? He's next door. Hey, Guffy, stop going for me. It's already dark outside. Okay. Sorry, I gotta go back to work. Well, that's interesting. So there's a connection between the moon and the black monster. Working out of our went on a journey. Uh, yes. You heard of that. Please, I mean, you should marry him. No, 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 I'm just... Wait. Start for the start there, I just beat some bobs. Wait, I can't get a start out there? Ah! Okay, so Uncle Fester is supposed to be in the neighbor. Maybe the star door? It's no more for it to be closed. Yeah, or is it this one? Or am I in the wrong place? Have you seen Princess Emilia? Oh my god, she's so mean! What a bitch! <laughs> Ah, oh, wait, I cannot go in here before, right? This must be the house next door. I wonder if Mr. Fester is home. Is, is in. I mean, knock, knock. Maybe not. I mean, it looks like there is even not the door there. I mean, not like it will stop me. The lights are on, though. Let me see. Mr. Fester, are you home? Yes, yes I am! I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was admiring the moon. Yeah, the moon. Uh, I have urges to do with the moon. If you wonder about a big hole in the moon, don't ask. You don't need to know. <laughs> come in, please. Let's talk inside. Yes, yes, come in here. I guess, seriously, I can't imagine. As soon as I see the name Fester, it's obviously Uncle Fester from the Adams family. We're here to ask you about the moon that never sets. Oh, about the moon that never sets? Wait for a minute, let me get some materials. My god, that's a, that's a fucking name. The moon that never sets. Can't you just name it Moony or something like that? You are interested in a weird matter. Eh, not more weird than many things I've seen here. Of course, I cannot make judgments about other people. Please take a look at these. Yes. <laughs> Nuts. Okay. In astronomy, a moon that never sets cannot exist. Oh my. Cannot Sorry. exist? That's right. Stars travel the sky by catching the winds of time. But this moon isn't affected by time. It never moves day or night. That's why it's called the moon that never sets. 
After counting 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth to fill the world with holy bliss. A poem of yore telling the fate given by the moon. However, what we really get is the spawning of destruction and fear that is a oh monster. Monster. Wow. Oh my god. Oopsie daisy. Oh, damn. Oh, we got wings. Damn, that's cool. Why a demon, not a blessing? What does it mean? Right the mystery to has yet to be resolved. Maybe it's one of the winglies, or whatever the fuck they're called. You know, wing, wing it on the moon. But how does it even work? You know, uh, if the moon never sets, it's literally all the time. Would it mean, is it there constantly, or will it? If you're moving around, like obviously, if we are on a spheroid, and you're moving around, obviously it will end up on the other side of the planet, anyways, because you know you're on the other side. Or will it keep on be visible? Is it like some sort of like weird trickery? Like it exists everywhere at the same time? Or is it just literally stuck there? And following exactly the movement of the planet from our point of view of this country. I mean, obviously, if, if you're in Sweden and looking at the moon now. You, know, you wouldn't see that in the like, United States, I think. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like in the opposite of the world, uh, you don't see the moon because the planet is in the way. And I can say stuff like that. I never imagined we would have been able to get some information on the black monster here. Hmm, oh, did you find this useful? Yes, you think so too, right, Dart? Very good. It's a pleasure to be helpful to such a beautiful lady. Oh, wait. Oh. Hmm. Ignore. That weird creepo. Oh, it's getting late. I have to hurry up or I will be making the princess wait. It's hard to eat only by a, st by a storm. I'm acting as governor of Princess Elisa as well. Oh, if you want to take a good look at the moon that never sets, go upstairs and take a look through the telescope. It's set in the direction of the moon that never sets. <sighs> this is such a long name. Now I am heading to the castle. Whee! Mm. Are there any more paths I need? I wouldn't mind, so I can enter the castle and do castle things. Damn, that's so fancy. So I love the style of these kind of things, you know, the technology, like it kind of. It's a great telescope. Wait, I can't. Oh wait. There we go. I mean, I love it. It's like steampunk, but before the steam and more punk and more wood. <laughs> is it wood punk? This is the moon that never sets. Damn, it looking actually awesome. I don't know why. I just hear dun 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 dun. Safi rot. <laughs> oh no, it's the moon people. I mean, I assume Lloyd is like the black monster that is affected by the moon, becoming one of Wingley's and about Rrrr! causing hav havoc or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised. It seemed to be the deal. Oh, I thought I had the permission. I'm not suspicious looking at all. I'm a reckless citizen who just about feel a night breeze. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's suspicious. Indeed. Normally, you don't need, need to say that you are suspicious. It is like people will say, I'm a nice guy. They really are nice guys then. I mean, obviously, my, 
most are nice, you know. We are doing our best, doing whatever we can, you know. We are nice people. But if you need to constantly hammer in the, I'm a nice guy. There's going to be reason you should know. Wait, what is it? And we're studying about plan day, not even though we just got married. We cannot do that. Uh -huh, you want to, you want to, you want to do the sex. Yes. And, uh, you know, just because you're married doesn't mean, like, either partner is owing the other one sex, you know? Just saying. Take the time, and if it's an issue, like, talk talk through with your partner. And if the partner is saying, well, maybe it's not meant to be. I see it starts pretty well tonight. Yeah. And relationships is more than... Badonka donka sex, you know what I'm just saying? It is so much more. He's like watching movies and just cry together. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Okay, but where the fuck am I supposed to go? I need to get a permission somewhere. Oh, here has something happens. Oh, welcome. I'm Nello, the representative of the Green Project, turning the brown barons to green. Desert to the deserts, the forest, the deserts to forest. Okay, yeah, honestly, that is pretty cool stuff. I mean, I now I don't know how they can do that. I mean, I know uh, by planting trees, planting trees help a lot because it creates root system and it allows the sand and stuff to that, like that binding, I think, correctly. Because otherwise, it is uh, you know, the reason why it doesn't grow is because of sand, you know? I think. Don't ask me, I'm not a uh, forester. Don't be shy, you wish to bring green back to Earth, don't you? Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. I thought so, but it's already late. I take a whole night to explain my plan. A whole night? Hmm, but actually it's okay with us, isn't it? We were in trouble because there was nowhere to stay for the night. We we're not allowed to leave town either. I see. I have planned the time to tell you about the green project tonight, then. The revegetation re re of the desert is a very interesting issue. Right. In principle, the relationship between humans and the Earth should be. Yes, indeed. Watching the buds? Maybe they are some kind of flower buds. I've never seen anything like this. I wonder how they bloom. You're excited about it, aren't you? It is exciting to see flowers glow. Gr gl grow, not glow. I mean, if they glow, that is kind of cool too. I will not uh, say no to glowing flowers, but either that or they are radioactive and you die. Uh, but that is kind of cool. Honestly, being a, um, a gardener or something like that is something I always thought of. Because, you know, I, li I like working with plants. They don't, sh they don't talk shit to you. They just die. <laughs> You remember that. Humans should grow up surrounded by greenery. Yeah, I think so too, honestly. That is what nice to see. Oh, well, now everything is kind of drying out here because the heat, but uh, yeah. I grew up on the countryside most of my life, but even in town when I was living, you know, there's lots of green, lots of green in town as well. Exactly. Green is not only give peace of mind, but brings a marvelous things. Fruits, vegetable, delicious air, all are brought by greenery. I guess they really will talk out the morning. Making her such curiosity. I mean, that is good, though. I hope we can fi fill cells with green someday. Yes. Issue here is how to promote the greening. <laughs> that's the key issue. The reason require a lot of money. Yeah, and that's the problem. Capitalism and stuff like that, which is profit-driven. Sadly, that is how it is. If there's not a profit in it, they want to fund it. That is why many of the technology and stuff like that that we take for granted, like internet, uh, stuff like that, were originally funded through governing and stuff like that, rather than some company like, Oh, I'm creating it. Have you been to do now? It's also known as the flower seed. Oh, that sounds amazing. But no, I haven't. Am I not supposed to get into the princess? Maybe that's the wrong way to say it. Uh, 
There are no signs of Lloyd after all. I cannot imagine that Emperor Dole told us a lie. In his last moment, my uncle was himself again. I think I can trust the information that Lloyd headed for Temporia. So we should assume that we cross path with Lloyd. I mean, Tiberium, I just think I'll come and conquer. But yeah, and it doesn't mean that Lloyd might, uh, you know, like, maybe I changed my plans and go there instead. Fools falling for my trap, and I'm like, no! That travesty. So, where in the world? In any case, the king is getting along with a motley crew like us. I was concerned at first, even uh, I even imagined that we were going to be pushed around by the king, see though. Please stop teasing me, both of you. What I would like you to do is just treat me as an equal, as a friend traveling together. Dart is not good at speaking with courtesy. He get cramps in his tongue when he tries for a long time. <laughs> Take that out of context. He gets cramps in his tongue when he tries for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I have such a filthy mind. It is so dirty that the nature is just rotting around me. I appreciate your sol solicitude, your majesty. Let's stop using that, your majesty. We will be in trouble if anybody hears that. Anyway, the priority is to pursue Lloyd. This is not the only town in Tiberia. If my memory is correct, there should be a town called Donau along the North Seashore. Let's go there now! Okay, let's leave as soon as possible. Yeah, do now. Do now these nuts. <laughs> do now's nuts. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to do now. Okay, okay, okay. The flower town. The Beroa. What is this? Barons. No, that looks scary. How about we go down here first, though? See what we have down here. Oh, dude, that is dry as fuck. Oh, God, I remember you! You're the one that stunned things! Ah! Slap. Oh man, I still can't get the timing. Jesus, lady! Rose slays! Damn, bro! She's just. Bonkers. Bononkers. Bonadonkers. Uh, let's see, what do we have down here? Ah, I guess this is to the next. Well, the previous region, right? I don't think we are supposed to go there, but through the barons and through their frick. Oh god, I remember you, little sucker rats. Chuk, chuk, chuk. Oh no, they're biting me! Ah. Playing rat. Oh my god, one punch! One punch, man, right there! Damn, I got that! Oh my god! Dun -dun -dun. Still, though, I feel like Dart doing very little damage compared to everyone else. Rose and Hashel, now this is doing so much damage. Hasheldorf? <laughs> okay, we're gonna run up here to the. Ah, <sighs> have a boat, dudes. Oh, another one. Cool. Crystal clear. Oh my god. Well, at least she heals. Ah, Berg. A Berg, a Berg. Oh my god. Grudge dance. You asshole. I will. Come on, Rose, get up. Get up. Oh my god, slap, slap. I love. I guess he just runs up there. Grandpa is just running up there, punching it. Ah, oh, so cool. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Hashel almost level 15. So that's nice. Mm. I guess we're gonna enter this place. Even if it looks kind of depressing. Cash see chest. <laughs> Treasure! Warrior dress? Oh, is that for me? Man, I wouldn't mind a dress right now. It would have cooled so much. Ugh. I assume, though, we can't give it to... No, maybe it's for Shana. Huh? No, it's off. Okay, okay. Nice. Iron Nuckle. Let's see. Demon Stiletto. Thera therapy Ring is so good, so I'm gonna keep it. So. Okay, okay, okay. But that was nice. I didn't expect it to actually be for Hatchel. Hashel is more progressive than I thought. I dig it. That is a... Okay, we're gonna say I have items, right? Might as well use. Wait, I don't have... Oh, I don't have a sharp... Well, whatever potion it was. Oh, cool. Hmm. Ah, well... Oh, no, oh, God, that's some nasty scorpions. With one claw, big claw, I guess it's because they've been, like, masturbating a massive. Oh my god, that, that, that's a lot of damage. And these guys were pretty tanky. With our hand. Oh my god. Free lizard. Cool. It makes me think on, like, Kled from League of Legends. Or the... In... Uh, Oh, uh, what the fuck was it called with the... Bernard and Bianca? The two mice that, like, rescue party or what the fuck they're called? Ah. That was some friendly stuff. If I remember right, or it was a lizard at least, some... Somewhere. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Who cares? All cartoons. Wow, 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 wow. Mm hmm. Nice. Do, 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 do. Man, this place looks a little bit dry. Oh no, what happens now? Oh, you're bandits. <laughs> Are you dating those girls in a place like this? Who are you? <laughs> Did you hear that? They ask you who we are? <laughs> I guess you think we're a bunch of doctors. Should be a quack. Yeah, quack, 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 quack. Surprise, surprise! We are the one and only Gerichi Gang. We are so bad we're scared of going back to hell. <laughs> Uh, they have no class. Well, I know what. Let's get our award for the money and the bimbos. We have nothing to give you. But if you insist, um, how about a miserable ending for you? Stop yelling me like that. Just leave us your valuables. We don't have plenty time. Oh, yeah, now, now everyone is pulling weapon. <laughs> Please, with your brothers. Okay, okay, so... Well... 
they seem to be kind of... Is it like Mad Max style? They've gone like kind of crazy, living on like rocks and the uh, dirty rainwater. That looks like a little bit... What the heck are they for frogs? Damn, they do damage though. Ah, I'm not likey. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna Dragoon, to be honest. Cause we're gonna use the Hairling. Go, go, Dragoon Rangers! <laughs> Man, I would be cool with an anime on this, to be honest. I think that would be really neat. Is there an anime? I wouldn't be surprised. Sometimes they surprise me with, like, random anime shit. What is it, Chun-Li? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, ba I'm trying to beat the bad guys. Mappy. That's roll break. Uh, it looks like they definitely been eating some uranium something they found in the cave. They look like the big Ooga Booga. Ooga Booga came on. There wasn't super much healing, but there was some. Might as well go unlimited fire power. What is it, Chun Li? Oh my God! What is it? I'm, I'm, I'm playing here. What is it, sweetie? Cat, cat wants attention. Don't give a fuck that I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Okay, so that's. But I want to do. That would be. Cool. I want to see how it looks, but we're gonna go with. What is this? Explosion! Explosion! Make me! Boom! Explosion! I hope this hurts. Now that did quite a bit of damage, actually. Hmm, mighty impressed. Let's go. Oh! Vanished? What a shaky little shit lord! Ah, miss! Okay, that is... my god. Oh yeah, here we have a new mechanic. You tried to figure that out, bitch. I guess I need to tactical need murder these guys first, though. Yeah, what is it, Chandi? They are cheating. Man, they look like goblins. Like, Jesus Christ. It is like hills have eyes. Hey, this is a bit of inbreeding that never hurts. Yeah, Ellie Bama, here we go. Do I need to like? Okay, well, that, that one is almost there. Well, he did his dad. Mm hmm. Yay, take that! I assume after I defeat the, 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 these little bastards, I, he will pop out. I hope, otherwise, that's a bullshit. Wait, what? You're fucking kidding me! He just appeared and once. Oh my god! What a bull 
bullshit thing to do! What, like, what the fuck? And that was totally a bullshit thing. Don't know, is it like some counter move he do when we, one of his goons are dead? I guess not. Oh my god. Man, the guy is really, really tanky. Uh, wait, didn't I have healing? Oh yes, baby. Oh yes, yeet this wind. Face the wind. Yes. Yay! Healing. Oh my god, I need to see this. Hashel, Hashel, Hashel. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Okay, that is that is cool as fuck. I'll dig that. Okay, what kind of magics do we have? Atomic mind. Whew, that sounds cool. <laughs> let's test. Let's try out this very dangerous sounding magic. How bad can it be? Oh shit! Oh boy! Oh my! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> oh god, that's so cool! Oh, oh yeah, I had only one charge. Oh well, but that was awesome! I dig that, Hashel is so cool. God. Why is Dark main character? Can we have Hashel and Rose instead? Oh my god! Oh my god, I got- oh my god, that was beautiful. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah, baby. And see, darts kill stealing again. You shitty bastard. <laughs> you cracker. You got stealing. That's so, unf oh, so mean. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> Wow, it's my, it's my fault. I'll do it again. Please forgive me. Just kidding. <laughs> oh no, your dragon soul. Well, you, you lost your balls. Are you gonna break it? Or steal it? Oh, it is. Man, he is agile like a monkey. Oh god. So, I kind of find it funny, like, literally, it, the entire thing with a soul is in a, in a rock, and, uh, yeah. And if it get lost, I mean, I feel like this shouldn't be, be what's inside that matters, right? Right? Isn't that it? Am I just too corny? Maybe I am. He's gone. It's my fault for not being careful enough. A dragoon spirit being stolen is the last thing I want to have happen. Anyway, let's move on to Denal. We might find it's something about the Garrett gang when we get there. Is this the way? I have no idea. We <gasps> treasure recovery ball. <laughs> yes, uh, anyone wants some um, recovering balls? I'm just saying it's for everyone. Recovering these balls. How do I? Oh, I need to run around there. Run around circle. Fifth. DG. Honestly, it's kind of fascinating how environments like this, you know, like Grand Canyon, whatever, mountains, stuff like that, can be shaped and formed of eons. Really cool stuff. 
Where is this? Oh, it is! Cool. But I'm gonna save and I'm gonna cut for now. And I will be back as we enter Dunao next time. Do not no 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 this. But yeah, so thank you everyone of you for watching. See you later, and I'll continue super great day.